a lifetime Bostonian sports writer, musician, and baseball fanatic, Howie Newman was invited to perform for the Council on Aging on Monday, April 8th. Why did you go? Johnny Damon, why did you take the cash and run? Do you think in New York City you'll be having this much fun? Well, I was, a, I was a sports writer for 18 years, and it was a great experience to be able to cover the Red Sox and a lot of other sports. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been a singer-songwriter for longer than that, so it was sort of the two worlds collided, you know. And uh, I wound up writing a lot of baseball songs, and so I'm going to do some of them today. And uh, I think the fact that I was a, a sports writer, and I'm also a big fan, I'm still a fan now, uh, gave me sort of a unique perspective into players and, and situations in baseball side. So Newman is known for combining music, sports, comedy, and audience participation to provide an entertainment experience for his crowd. I look forward to engaging the audience. I, I like to do songs that people understand. So most of my lyrics are pretty straightforward, that people understand what it is. But I look to, to see people who are kind of leaning forward and, and uh, engaging and, and understanding the songs and, and laugh, uh, laughing. I do a lot of comedy and, and humor into the, into the show. And, so, and I like when people ask me questions or whatever. Uh, I sing along, so I try to really uh, involve the audience. They're, they're part of the show. Newman, known as one of the most engaging performers on the New England folk circuit, had a late start to his career as a singer-songwriter. However, he has had much success since. But um, once I started playing and uh, songwriting came, you know, in the beginning you write a lot of lousy songs, but I finally worked through that and uh, I got to the point where I was writing good songs. and. Some of them were about baseball, uh, most of them were about sort of everyday life, you know, things that happen to people, and I think that's what uh, people can really relate to. He performs a specific baseball show at senior centers that encompasses baseball songs, baseball trivia, and personal stories about his days as a sports writer on the Red Sox beat. He was a twin, then he joined the Sox, and the cave, it's really rock. Through his satirical baseball performance, Howie embraces the authenticity of baseball and provides a comical twist that engages his audience. I think most people can relate to it the best. They've either played it on a certain level or they, they just really understand it more. And it's very slow, and, and, but it has a very rich history. And I think because it's slow, I think that lends to its charm because you can analyze, you know what the situation is, you know what the player is, and uh, you can think of what might happen in a certain situation. That's why I think baseball really uh, is more of a kind of a personal game. With opening day around the corner, Howie's performance certainly got the Council on Aging in the right spirits. From the Council on Aging, I'm Mattis Metzdorf for B News Weekly.